Hi there, this is the Dune 2000 1v1 on CNC net. The two players are the purple ordos, Chaos, and the white ordos, SW Tini. So both of them go for the ordos. Tini was just now the Atreides, but I don't know why he switched to ordos. Maybe he thought that ordos is faster? I don't know. So this will be an Ordos vs Ordos match which could be quite interesting I think because I've never seen an Ordos vs Ordos this kind of mirror match ah. so we can see that they're scouting in quite a symmetric way no? no, Tinnis Unis are go on in, go, going on a strike I don't know what they are doing. And we can see Tinny didn't build concrete below the wind traps. So this can really speed up his building, I mean efficiency. So we can see Tinny got an earlier heavy factory than Chaos does. So Chaos had his first heavy factory down. I mean up and second refinery for Tinny so we're still waiting for the second refinery of Chaos so from the small map it's really hard to see purple units so it's here so it's more than la likely they won't have a battle so since they're too far away um, yeah, Tin is going for a strange build order and maybe it's called the modern build order, <laughs> I don't know how to call it. So heavy factory and then three refineries successively. And we still do know the next structure, what the next structure will be in chaos space. I guess it should be a heavy factory. Since I based on my experience, chaos is more than likely to go for the standard build order, yes, like this, and then two heavy, I mean two refineries. So I don't know the difference between these two build orders, unless someone is going for a very earlier st star port. So I still don't know whether the next structure, I mean, the next two structure will be, uh, what 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 it will be. So I believe both of them are going for refinery. Yeah, it's definitely the case. Maybe the next refinery will be a pure ring here. Yes, yeah, somewhere here. And Tinny's refinery will appear here. I heard something. So this siege tank get lost. It is discarded by chaos. So three heavy factory, only three refineries before. So it's first time I see this build order. It's interesting. So speaking of the placement, I think Tinny is slightly better. Because as I mentioned in my former videos, I suggest you to build three refineries here and another refinery in another entrance in order to get spice in an efficiency way efficient way so chaos doesn't have any refinery here so he will have cash problem very soon especially in this shit spot I mean the, th the three spot is very likely to have a cash problem So we can see the starport here, I mean the outpost, and there is no outpost here. So I guess that was because the earlier uh, no concrete wind traps. So two barracks, one barracks. What are they? I couldn't find where the voice is from. 
So starport, really good. And I think here should appear starport too. No, outpost. So we can see, actually Tini is faster than Chaos. For a starport. Since it really doesn't take much time to build a barracks. And I don't think two barracks is okay. Unless for somebody who thinks that they produce uh, troopers too slow, they can build two barracks at the beginning. But it makes no difference if you build one. So scouting units of Tini is waiting here. So maybe he's thinking of some sneak attacks in later games. So let's just wait and see. I hope it will be a sneak attack. Or there will make no sense to place your starting units here. If you don't sneak. So we can see Tinny is pushing to the right. I don't know whether he's thinking of taking an expansion here. Yeah, Chaos is following. Very good. If he didn't follow, he would go straight straightforwardly to here. And it would be a very good good thing to see. They're exchanging their base. But it won't happen. Chaos is a conservative player. As far as I know. So first del delivery. Oh no, this is the second delivery. And there is no start port in Chaos space. We can see Chaos going for the very earlier three light factories. And he has now only one barracks left from the fast fastest building efficient. See. So here, this shit is gonna be eaten. Yep. Yeah. Let's look at the control. Actually, there's no need to control by chaos, cause yeah. Really good for chaos. So yeah, starport really appears. I mean, finally appears. So what's it for? It makes no sense to me to put your units here. It's so weird. So, and you don't get any expansion here. So why did you put your units here? It's far from your base, but closed to Chaos base. So Chaos can easily reinforce his troops here to double or to own your force. So this is n makes no sense to me. Instead, I, sh I think he should push to the middle. Of course, the most, um, I think the spot 7 is the most, I mean, uh, most difficult to have an expansion. The only way you have an expansion is to the middle, or somebody like to have it here, but both of them are very hard. So if you push your units here, I don't think it's a good idea, but we'll see. Your base should be empty. Your units are here. And Chaos can easily go in for a sneak attack straightly to your base. Like what he's now doing. There's no defense here. No defense. And what's this? Let's concentrate on this. I think Tin is gone GG. Did he know the starport trick trick? To clean up the cash? No, he didn't clean up the cash. By cleaning up, I mean to convert your cash from your refinery to your pocket. I mean, if you click this refinery, there will be a blue bar, I mean green bar, uh, showing how many cash you have on your storage. And by clicking the starport and buy and cancel, buy and cancel, like right click and left click, the MCV or any other, some expensive thing you will convert your cash from your refinery to your pocket and then if your refineries are down 
you still have the cash. But as we just see, when Tini's refineries were down, his cash just reduced 2,000 amount. So I guess he didn't know this trick or he didn't apply this trick. But either way, it's so bad. So it's so bad for Tini now. And now he's paying for the bad decision, which is putting his force to here. He got a really good shape, but he has really few units. He cannot encounter this. I think Tini should GG. Or more or less, he will GG very soon. So in conclusion, I think firstly, uh, no firstly, just one thing. Do not put your units here. It's first time I see somebody put his units here. It makes no sense. And here comes the sneak attack of Stealth Raider. Oh my god, Stealth Raider. I didn't notice this. The high tech center. Okay, let's look at Chaos Space. Actually, I'm quite new to Dune compared to these two players. Uh, I don't know whether there's a convention that doesn't allow the Stealth Raider. But I don't know. Yes. But Chaos is really good. He's defensing. Let's see whether he will take this construction yard. The game can be reversed. Oh my god, this construction yard has gone down. Oh, wow, my god. So, push. So. Okay. <laughs> oh my god. Oh my god. <laughs> it's amazing. So thank you guys for watching. And by the way, I don't think KL should quit so quickly. He can actually push. Although you don't have the construction yard or the starport, you, you still have the refineries and you still have forces. So I think if I were Chaos, I should I would push ASAP to Tennis Base and I have fifty percent of the confidence that I can I can take Tinny down by the remaining units. So thanks for watching, see ya guys.